Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to the channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that'll encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. We're gonna talk about some hat wigs, y'all. I did a part one, y'all enjoyed it. Check it out after this video if you haven't already. So I decided, you know what, let's come back with a part two because I found more cute hat wigs. I can't believe I'm saying this because if this was a year ago, if you would've came to me with a hat wig, I would've been like, bump that. But now, I have turned over a new leaf. I'm really excited about the wigs I have today. I have like this lock hat wig. I have this super bright color hat wig that one of my subscribers, Pink Unicorn, recommended. Hey girl. And I have this ombre one with the black cap. You guys saw the denim cap one and liked it, but I remember y'all asked for a black cap. So here we are. Let's see, which one should we start with? Uh, da, da, da. Let's start with this ombre one. Now, if you're curious about this hair, I premiered this on $20 Tuesday this week. This is my favorite half wig of all time, Utre Nakaya. At the time I premiered the video, y'all like bought up all the natural colors, but I also showed it in this gorgeous 1B350 color, which is a copper color. Stunning. Please try that out, especially if you're a brown skin baddie like me. I promise you, you will fall in love with the wig just like I did. So with this hat wig here, it has this black cap here this is what the construction looks like on the inside as you can see these are sewn on and then this is what the ombre color is looking like i think it's the same as the denim one that i showcased so let's just take off miss nakaya all right when i tell you this is so easy like perfect for my beginners wearing these half wigs with headbands are you kidding me oh my god Awesome. So just like that, the wig is off. I'm just doing this in real time with y'all because these wigs are that easy. This one comes with a Velcro strap. I'm just gonna put this on my head like so. It's a little tight, so, you know, I got a medium sized head, 22.3 circumference. If you have a larger head, I feel like this might feel a little snug, but this is what this hat wig is looking like with the black cap what do y'all think what do y'all think i think it's cute <laughs> i think it's real cute if you're curious about my top this is a satin bralette that i bought from amazon which i absolutely love i have it in lavender as well and you can find it in my description box i mean these hat wigs are so easy you can't <laughs> you can't go wrong if i'm heading over to marshall's i would just quickly throw this on and be out the door that would be none the wiser let me know what you think this is what it looks like with all the hair to the back i'm 5'3 and it is going past my tailbone past like right at the booty y'all see that i'm with it <laughs> I love long braids like this. I really want to get like a full lace box braid wig that is blonde, like a mix of a 27, 30, a 4. Like I really want that mix. I'm going to get someone to do it for me. There's not much else to say about this wig except that it's a little tight. So if you have a bigger head than me, uh, I don't know how it would work out for you, but... Currently, I have no complaints. Let's move on to the next one. Look at this beauty, y'all. This is a lock hat wig. These locks are gorgeous, very well done. You'll see the inside here has a similar type of pattern where it's stitched on. I really like that these wigs don't look sparse when you put them on too. Like, this is a definitely a nice amount of hair. So I'm just gonna throw this bad boy on. Ooh, this cap. Feels a little bit more. Oh no, it's because it's not strapped. <laughs> so I guess that's a thing. Like if you have a bigger head, you can unstrap it and then maybe, I don't know, try to finesse it that way. Maybe just tuck the straps in or something like that. You could do that. And this is what the locks are looking like. All these are all the locks to the front. <gasps> oh my god. Yo. Ooh, what do y'all think? This comes down past my waist. Ooh, this is gorgeous. These locks are so freaking pretty. Are you serious? Are y'all here for this? Let me know. I am a fan. <laughs> this looks so good. 
Oh man, I don't want to take this one off. <laughs> oh my god, I this is already a favorite. Do I need to try on anything else? Oh, you might have seen this one. I gave like a little sneak peek when I did Twenty Out Tuesday the other day. She's stunning. Like the the one B is hitting. I've always wanted locks. But I never wanted to commit to them until I actually cut my hair off back when I was like 25. And then I was like, oh, I could do locks one day. If I don't want them, I could just cut them off. But I just haven't really gotten around to actually doing it, especially when I started wearing wigs. Now it's like, I don't need to wait 10 years to have locks going down my ass. <laughs> oh man, this is, oh, she is, mm. I feel like such a natural baddie in this with this black cap. Who's adding this one to the cart? Let me know. Let me know. Y'all see these locks? Oh my God. Gorgeous. I kind of feel like Mary J. Blige a little bit. She didn't have locks, but her and like, you remind me. I'm so beautiful, baby. It is a deja vu, honey. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is it. Now I have this wig in another color. Y'all ready to see it? Yo! <laughs> How gorgeous is this ombre? Wow. This looks so damn pretty on camera. I'm here for it. I'm so here for this. I'm so here for this. Oh, Y'all better get into these hat wigs this fall. Seriously, like... It's what I didn't know I needed. Y'all know I've been obsessed with headband wigs for the past two years, but the hat wigs are like even easier. And especially for my girls who, who, and especially for my girls who deal with hair loss, you know, PCOS, alopecia, where you tend to lose hair and it could be any part of your head. If you have a hat wig on, you don't have to worry about like covering up your edges or the back of your head. Like all of it's covered. Like this gives great coverage. Look. Even this is what it looks like, all the hair to the back, right? And remember, I'm 5'3". It's coming down here past my tailbone. You see that? Even with the hair to the front here, this is what, this is what it looks like from the back. So I would probably wear like a black wig cap. Or I don't even have to wear a wig cap, honestly, if I don't want to. So... <laughs> party you watching with me what y'all think comment in the chat i don't want to take this one off either and normally i'm not a fan of like this type of blonde on cankalon fibers particularly it looks like super fake to me but i'm i'm here for this one. Oh my god this is so pretty where can i go i'm actually going to happy hour tonight do i want to wear this tonight do I want to pretend to have locks tonight? See, so I'd be trying to be like her too. She, I wore this the other day. We went to this place called Plant Burger. And she was like, girl, you want to be like me so bad. I said, yes, you got a problem. Because <laughs> she has locks like down her back. She's had her for like over 10 years. I'm just looking at my mirror over here. And I look so cute. Y'all want to see? This is the mirror that I glance into as I'm filming. Yeah, this is a vibe, honey. Yeah, your girl is serving body a little bit, you know, in the all black. What? Oh, yeah. Y'all need to just add this one to the cart because this, this is it. Okay, y'all, I have one more hat with to try. I need to turn down the, um... Y'all can't see the true colors in this. I gotta turn this down. But yeah, can y'all see it? It's very, it's coming off super bright on camera. So I'm gonna try this one on and see how I like it. Okay, we are back. <laughs> so here's the thing with this one, right? Like I'm looking, when I look in my mirror, what I see, it, it's cute. But it's hard for me to see the vision because I don't have the right outfit on. Like, I would not wear all black with this. I would wear something colorful. I would wear something denim. Um, and also, I would have to make sure that none of my hair or my wig cap or anything is showing because it would, like, really interfere with this colorful look. 
but I will say like these colors are freaking gorgeous together I was trying to just turn it down so y'all can get the true feel of it. it it looks so pretty like I'll show you in the mirror okay you can get a better idea of the colors here looking in the mirror you see what I mean look at that so freaking pretty i think it would be great for a costume great for like pride in your city please just don't wear all black with it because that's not a vibe <laughs> you have to wear something that that goes with this type of outfit but clearly the hair is a statement so you don't even have to do too much with your outfit but yeah i love the way these hat wigs are constructed and i just love the color blends that are available and for an affordable price like you can you know how much this would cost for someone to do this for you? Oh my God, a lot of money. But you can just go get this one from Amazon and live your best life. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this one because I, I don't see myself rocking it at all anytime soon. But it is very, very pretty. And I feel like the camera is not doing this bad boy justice. Look at all these. It's like blue, purple, pink. It's like... The purple, perfect pastel color. Oh my God. And my subscriber who sent, who sent this link to me, she showed me how she looked in these colors. She was like a lighter complexion and it looked really good on her. Even though it's like clashing with my outfit, I have no other complaints. I still think it's a fucking vibe. <laughs> as are all these hat wigs so let me know what you think about the hat wigs i showcased today overall i'm here for the ease and convenience y'all ever since covid and quarantine i have been trying to do the least as possible when it comes to my hair has it made me a little bit lazy eh, i don't know it depends on who you're talking to <laughs> but i'm just not as into like frontals and whatnot like I used to be you know I still like them I still love a good frontal but it's like damn like if I can get this done in five minutes I'm just more likely these days to choose a quicker option so I think hat wigs definitely provide that for me but let me know how you feel in the comments make sure you check out part one after this video and if you're new here feel free to support your girl subscribe to the channel I have lots of content coming back up for y'all today as you can see your girl is back consistent trying to be i need to be putting out two videos a week because for my sanity like honestly i've been a little bit disappointed with my inconsistency on youtube considering y'all are like my core family but i've just had a lot going on and i've been like i've been traveling a lot and i just haven't been able to balance everything as well as i would have been able to a year ago things are changing for good though in a definitely a good way and i just want y'all to know that I'm still here. I'm still ready to bring y'all the great content. The Jamaica vlog, some of y'all have been asking about that. Unfortunately, I lost the footage, so I had to I had to edit everything all over again. I'm like more than halfway through that. So it's coming. And I have like 10 different vlogs in the back burner, y'all, <laughs> that I want to showcase. I really want to bring more vlogs to this channel because I do a lot of fun things in my real life. And I, I'm at a point where I want to showcase more of that on this channel. So Hopefully y'all are cool with that. If you're ready to see the vlog content, more of it at least, let me know. I do have some videos out already. Y'all can check out my vlog playlist. Other than that, check out these videos to the right of me as well. Thank y'all so much for rocking with your girl, for being patient, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.